I'm Bowling Otter. And I'm Lissy Samway. Welcome to the BS. The Bowling Otter Show. So we're talking. Hey, something just occurred to me. <laughs> yeah? Am I going to key out in this sweater? No. It's no. green. Yeah, but it's dark green. That is not chroma key green. It, are, are the screens on behind us? Are you going to? Yeah. We were just having this conversation and you were saying, well, maybe we might want to pull something up on the green screen behind us. Or maybe not. Maybe we won't. You maybe know? not. Yeah. I know. But hey, we have a lot to talk about. Sure do. So we thought that maybe we would have one of these, like, I don't know. Is it a podcast? Is this a podcast? I don't know. We're starting to call it that, but uh, I don't know. We haven't put it on any podcast <laughs> distributors yet. So I guess um, <laughs> but technically not yet. <laughs> every every once in a while, we just kind of want to like have a conversation with each other and with you guys and kind of tell you what we've been doing. And if you've had similar experiences, you can stick them in the comments. But we've been going through a lot the last month. How has your September, October now october we're well october into october 7th. yep we're Not a good well solid week a good week into october that's, guess a, what, that's 25% in guess what happened to me girlfriend right. i had a flat tire all right before we go any further i want to thank our sponsor for this video yahaha studio what's that name yahaha studio yahaha Yaha is a brand new user generated content creation platform for 3d multiplayer interactive experience with yahaha anyone can create and publish their virtual experiences without coding experience or server knowledge simply use the available templates components and smart assets in yahaha studio to make your dream games hey maddie yeah. You want to make a game? But I don't have any money. I can't buy anything. Look no further. <laughs> but I can't code. That's okay. Because we have Yahaha Studio. <laughs> we do. Check us out. All right, we're going to start with a template. Let's see. What do you want? Oh, look how many. How about uh, hide and seek? Hide and seek. All right, we're doing yes. our create from template. Let's check we it click out. Click that button there. Yes. This pops up right here. Wow. Look where we are already. That was freaking fast. All right, we're going to add something, Lissy. All right, what do you want to add? We need something to change into. <gasps> Hold very on. Important. Let me think. This is very important. It is. Zombie mail. One. Zombie mail. Where's zombie mail? Right here. Sam. All right. Yeah. So if you can see, we're gonna pop right here. Oh my Bam. god. Bam. Look at that. We're gonna add a community component. Oh okay. This is behaviors and stuff that other people have come up with. Isn't that crazy? All right. Now we're gonna hit play. <gasps> I'm a hider. Look at me. I didn't know we would oh be whimsical goodness. and adorable. Well, you do now. We just transformed into a chair. And there he is. Victory! Because he is definitely in the air. I put him in the air. You put him in the air, so I that's where he air. wound up. Where's my Where's my spawn point? Let's take him. Ready? I'm gonna grab him. Ready? <laughs> there he is. Ready? I like how he's kind of teeny. -tiny. There he is. He's waiting. I am now the zombie. He naked. Oh, he doesn't seem too happy about it either. <sighs> oh my god. All right, that's Yahaha Studio. It's really easy to make games. It's free. You don't have to code. Just click the link in the description. Give it a shot. It's free and early access right now. And if you use our link, it helps us out a lot too. So yes, thank you very much. Please. All right, now back to business. Oh yeah. Ran over a nail somewhere out there. And my, I have a Mini Cooper, and it just went like, Bleh! and <laughs> horrible. And yeah. had to bring it to the dealer. Had to do the whole loaner and everything. But you just went to go pick it up, and yep. it's okay. Oh yeah, it's great. It's awesome. Yeah. All right. It's been a super. It's been a super strong car. Yeah. Like it's a pretty I, there's reliable a. Car. It's been. You've had it for. We've had it for a while now. Yeah. And the it's brakes and off. rotors are still fine. Yeah. yeah I, I mean, know. like everything's really good. Except off. the engine, like support collapsed. Yeah, the engine support <laughs> collapsed. <laughs> it was, it was the engine. Were like, was like, engine. Eh. They're like, yeah, you might want to get this fixed. Like, what the hell is that? It, so it's not just something that those models because do. Because they're. It's a great car, and I have some complaints about it, but it's really low to the ground. So if you hit like a big pothole or something, yeah, or you if feel it, it, or like the snow, like scraping on your undercarriage or something, you could really mess up your car. So I'm wondering you because be the roads around that, here like, are terrible. All the time. Yeah, yeah, they're bad roads. So I'm wondering if maybe that had something to do with it. It could have. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't know. Whatever. It's fixed now, so we're out. You know, <laughs> X zillion dollars. X zillion. I know. Yeah, it could be worse. But but we've also been doing. There's so much happening in like gaming and movies and yeah. things happening. We saw a bunch of movies, which I'm kind of happy that we were doing because yeah. we, we weren't watching movies for a while. Our boys are getting older yeah, and they're going to bed at decent times and they're in school and things like that. So we have a little bit of time in the afternoon now, which right now, which is what we're doing. That's right. It's 2.30. I've got my coffee this in my coffee. travel mug. This is a really old guy too, isn't it? Look at that. Oh yeah, pie. that's been loved. Is this not dishwasher <laughs> safe? This is about 10 years old. Yeah. That's, uh, we've had that one for a while. That yeah, was one yeah. of the first, like, coffee travel mugs we got, I remember. Yeah, and it was. they are sticking around. It was. My goodness. But, hey, do you want to talk about movies or games? Because we have a lot to talk about. My God. Um, let's or, talk about... Or household stuff. Or household like, stuff things? stuff we're doing at home. Um, um, uh, wow. 
Uh, let's do let's do movies. How about we do movies? movies. One, two, three, movies. <gasps> Go. We saw Hocus Pocus two. <laughs> yes, we. Did. Have you seen Hocus Pocus two? I. What did you think of Hocus Pocus two? I made him watch one, which you had never seen. Yes. And it was cute and adorable and yeah, loved it's, it. It's of that time. It's, it looks like it fits right in. You yeah, know. Yeah. Um. What did you think of the second one? Again, if you haven't seen it, you know you could skip forward. Or whatever, so I, I don't know. How do you want to handle spoilers? I guess we're going to just spoil these movies. Yeah, we're going to spoil about? Hocus Pocus 2 today. I'm <laughs> sorry. We might. We might. Yeah. We may. And we don't have to say what happens at the end. We no, don't have to spoil it. we don't. But the whole thing took place like in a Walgreens. There was a lot of Walgreens. The and even when it wasn't placement. in the Walgreens, they kept finding a way to mention Walgreens or show the W somewhere. I it was like, like, wow. And then they brought it up <laughs> they again. They must have paid for the whole movie. At the end. Like, I don't know... Like, why is this happening, like, all the time? The Sonic movie was like that. It's really just, it, honestly, like, it's an indicator of where all the money in everything eventually funnels up to. Because <sighs> they pay for everything now. But has it always <laughs> been like this? I feel no, like it, it was, like, no. particularly egregious. It's yeah. just kind Over of like, time, it's more hey, you want to go so. to Burger King, Sonic? Yeah. Or, and it's like, oh, you know, just, okay, all right. I, I it all goes up to like, what, five or six companies, I think, that like own really? all of the companies in the country. Like, yeah, something like the that. The vast majority of them, like um, like the 90% of the companies, something like that. It's something crazy, really? but yeah, it all centralizes. So I, it, we're just seeing that in the media too now. We're seeing like that Nestle in our entertainment. And Pepsi. Yeah. And, you know, stuff like that. And Jeff Bezos, <laughs> you know, that own everything. Jeff you know? Bezos. But I, just him I specifically. Can't, yeah, yeah. Just Jeffrey Bezos. <laughs> <laughs> only Jeffrey Bezos, but uh, just the product placement and everything. I'm just kind of maybe I'm just getting old and crotchety. Yeah, I, it is. Well, I, it might be old and crotchetiness on our part because we grew up with that not being the case, yeah. and we grew up with like ad advertisement hadn't quite. It was there, mm -hmm. but it wasn't quite as encroached. Yeah, like it started to really become one with yeah. it a little bit. Like these some things just become glorified advertisements now. Yeah, like all the blockbusters. Yeah, I want like a gritty drama with Meryl Streep like on her <laughs> deathbed saying like I would like a Pepsi. Before I die. <laughs> you know, and they'll be like, "Oh yes, ma'am." You know, and they give her like, up, the, like the little fizzy. Yeah, well, I would die faster. I hate Coke, but yeah, that yeah. kind of bugged me a little bit. But then we yeah. also saw. But we still got it. We also saw the monsters. Yes. Now wait a minute. Did did we finish? I fell asleep. I don't even know if we got to the end. Did we? Did you fall asleep? Um, I probably turned it off at some point. We've we've had it in a couple different it sessions cute. now. It was the it's, monsters, yeah. uh, by directed by Z Rob Zombie. I can't talk today. Yes, on Netflix. Yes, and it was it was cute. It was okay. Mm -hmm. It was. You said last night you were like, I think it could have been a series that would have been fun. Yes, like a little limited series of the monsters, yeah. which would have been nice. Because he did come away thinking like that didn't have to be like that long and like. They have these different sections of it. Like, yeah, it's kind of fun. Yeah, yeah. And I could have done, it would have worked really well in like shorter servings, mm. I think maybe. Uh, yeah. But it was super campy and yeah. really, really um, intentionally like the humor from the show. Yeah. So much to the point where it like feels really yeah. awkward almost it's and like old fashioned. Like three Stooges y, like yeah. vaudeville type, you know, the speed up and then they walk back and then like all the different speeds and sound effects and yeah. stuff it's like that. It's one of those things you're watching. Like, I know it's I feel like I'm supposed time. to sign this find this funny, but it's not really funny, but it yeah. looks like it's trying to be funny. But I get but it's not why really it trying was, to be modern funny. It's yeah. so. I get why it was funny yeah but like comedy's in a weird place now anyway because of um people being offended and like i have to make sure that i articulate this correctly where nobody wants to have ill-intentioned comedy i mean i don't think anybody ever wanted ill-intentioned comedy but now it's punching kind of down. Like punching down thank you and there was for a long time it was like it was punching down. A lot comedy. of punching down. Only punching down. There was like a before and like an after. And what were we watching? Heathers. Oh my Last God. night we were yeah. watching Heathers. <laughs> if yeah. you haven't seen Heathers, please watch it. It's great. That was the first time I saw that. But they're using, there's like slurs everywhere and like the bullying. Oh yeah. And like the, like it's really, really messed up what was considered funny. But it's so, really interesting. It's a great time to watch and be like, like you get a feeling for how really far, far we've come, you know? Because yeah. the only reason it seems crazy now is because we have actually come I know. really far. But because of that, I think like comedy's in kind of like a weird place. Like we yeah. were talking the other day about 
bros coming out with Billy Eichner. Mm -hmm. And it was being marketed as this big, like, all the gays have to go see, you know, bros. And it it didn't work out that way. And it was kind of, I think it came in the, like, there was like a mix up in the marketing or it was just like mismarketed or there was pressure being put on. Yeah. It didn't and seem like they had like, kind of they like, didn't hey. knew where their audience was. Right. But, you know, but it was in theaters only. We're really that getting was another, off on yeah. a thing. <laughs> but I kind of feel like now going to the movie theater is kind of like reserved for like your blockbusters. Yeah. Right. Yes. I don't know if I would totally. pay money to go sit it's in for the theater. Top Gun, you know? See, yeah. Yeah. To go and see a comedy. I, w- I would stream the hell out of a comedy. Yeah. I really, I'll be it's like, for Tom oh, Cruise I'll, movies, I'll put it on. Basically. Yeah. Theaters like if, for Tom Cruise if movies. Bros was streaming, I'd be like, oh my God. Yeah. Like, let's watch it, you know? Yeah. But I don't know if I'd actually get yeah, up we and actually put my would, button to uh, see. We probably would have popped that on because we, we definitely would have. I mean, we would have, we would have just been hanging out and be like, oh, yeah, let's put on some, let's see what this is like. And they didn't get that opportunity for us, you know? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Maybe they will release it streaming now and we'll we'll have that opportunity and that'll yeah. get a lot more people watching it. Right. Then we might see some different um a different measure of criticism too. Because right, we'll get right. like a much bigger uh, a sample size there. There might be it might be an audience out there for it that it hasn't found yet. Yeah. 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 I, I I I just think like comedy's in a weird place. It is. And we're big comedy fans. I'm a huge But I'll tell you fan. what, like what is starting to become more appropriate almost to the time, which I'm loving mm. because it, it like hits me in just the right place comedically what? is the just over the top silly stuff. Oh my God. Yeah. Like uh, what's happening with, uh, what's that show we just started watching? I oh, think you should I think leave. You should leave. Oh my we're God. Little, we just discovered we're this. We're a little behind on it and we were catching up and it's so like, <laughs> Oh my over God. The, top the shirt, ridiculous. the complicated shirts. Yeah. Yeah. I Dan flashes. Dying. Dan yeah. flashes. Amazing. Watch it. If you haven't, it's, it's funny. We were laughing so, <laughs> so, hard. so hard, but I mean, that's, uh, that works. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that's kind of what I mean. It's more like about yeah, like the explosiveness and the ridiculousness it, of it. Yeah. It's just, a, we're Punching having to kind of get so a, lazy. Yeah. So, so lazy. So it's funny you where know. you could say comedy is in a weird place, but it's also in kind of a fun place because it's like yeah, everybody's yeah. getting in Absurd. there and trying some new stuff yeah. and like trying mm. to figure out where we're at. And now you see a lot of experimentation, a lot of yeah. off the wall stuff and some right. of it doesn't land and some of it does. Yeah. And you get stuff like Bo Burnham doing like, um, oh, like his thing. I mean, I thought that stuff was great. So, Did you guys see the outtakes, the Bo Burnham inside outtakes? So good. Inside outtakes. Yeah. It was but good. I thought it was. It's, it's more. It's more of the same. Yeah. Yeah. It's, good. it's fantastic. Yeah, it's good. You know, like brilliant. But yeah, I'm curious to see what happens. I, I think Billy Eichner is trying to bring back the rom com. Are you ready for a rom com resurgence? If it's funny, if the com part's good enough. J Lo had one with Owen Wilson a little while ago. It's free on Amazon Prime. I see it every time we have a watch party. <laughs> Do you want to watch this? Sure. Do you want to watch? I guess. A I mean, I'm the, not I can't, a big rom-com I can't get excited about a rom com. No. It's it's the kind of thing where there's been ones I've seen over the years where like that one was funny. What's a good rom com? Remember that, that one? You that like? was funny. Well, what's a good rom com? You like? Then we get into what's a, what's a rom com because there was this melding of like the 2000s comedies where they all became like rom coms like Wedding Crashers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the I Apatels. would consider that a rom com, mm-hmm. and I think that's hilarious. So yeah, yeah, for yeah. me, that's a good rom com. Yeah. I'll put that one out there then. Yes. But that's one Even that punches down. You know, Tropic Thunder punches down. Tropic Thunder. You know, Step yeah. Brothers punches. Oh, Step Brothers. I love Step Brothers. Yeah, it's funny. <laughs> but I know, <laughs> it's I know. funny. But like, it, it's it's weird. It's, yeah. it's such a weird place to live in. But people are figuring it out. Hey, comedians are figuring it out. I mean, they whatever. Are. That's they are. So I was digressing. I'm sorry. I went off on such a tangent. <laughs> no, I'm that's, that's, that's what so this we were is talking for. About the Munsters, I think this, this is for tangents. What, what we're really trying to work our way through is Dahmer. Oh my god! And I think I'm the one that's holding you up on that. Yeah, I'm trying to watch it. You are, and I'm like, why do we? Watch and we always had us watch something else. It was kind of like one of the How middle of the series. Those, I know, but you know, like maybe I need to do <laughs> something like to occupy myself while we're watching it. Like maybe I need to like crochet. Crochet. I could knit. Yes. Maybe I could knit. Yes. I need an do excuse to stitch. look away. I am so deeply <laughs> disturbed. Like we're in what? Like it's, it's, we, it's we're on the fourth episode. We're about to start the fourth yes, episode. Yes. We've been trying to watch it since like its release. Yeah. And it's just. Well, I think uh, we saw the first episode. And the first episode just scared the living crap out of us. And we're like, oh, God. To death. And, and then like, like it's took just a kind couple of, of days to go. Yeah. Back. And then like, all right, let's go start watching let's, it again. Let's make a point to watch one this weekend or yeah. to like resume it this weekend, but we are streaming tomorrow and we do want to record some more stray tonight. We'll yes. get to that in a minute. But, um, so I really want to try and get through it. So another one that I saw that you didn't see, and I was showing you pieces, bits and pieces of it was blonde. Oh <gasps> yeah. Guys. Yeah. What Guys. I, as I am, as, as I'm understanding it, as you're showing me some of these parts, I think it's 
pretty terrible. Oh well, here here's the thing with Blonde. It's it's that movie about Marilyn Monroe and it came out a couple weeks ago. So I was like, oh my gosh, I love old movies. I really want to see this. It looks like this performance is going to be great. I knew you were kind of mildly like, let me know how it is. So I run on the treadmill and I watch Netflix. So I like day one, I'm like, I want to watch Blonde and Run. So like I watch a half hour of it, run, stop. I'm like, I'm just going to nickel and dime my way through it until I finish this movie. So as I'm going on these runs, like day by day, I'm seeing like press about it on social media and people saying like, this movie is garbage, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> it's like a three hour movie. So I'm like, uh, it is pretty weird. So I'm not going to watch it anymore. So like my next run, next run, I'm like, I got to keep going. Like I have to finish it. Now it's like a car crash. I have to watch it. And just, I finished it yesterday Yeah. and I, I just feel yucky about the whole thing. I almost wish I haven't, I hadn't seen it wow. because it's really, I mean, it, that's there, tough. Has to, there has to be a word for something where somebody gives a great performance in just a, a really, not great movie. Not great movie. Yeah. Where because she did a wonderful job with what was there, Anna de Armas, who's great, but it's not true. That's and a kicker for me. I know it's like, not true. That poor woman. Like poor why would Marilyn you do? It, it's not a biopic. No, it's, it's a, not. It's Marilyn. It's it's about Marilyn Monroe, but it's really not. It's about a character based on Marilyn Monroe, yeah. and it's yeah. not about true events. I know. I know. So that drives me nuts. I I, like, I'm, why does this movie exist? I'm like, I'm I'm watching it. I'm running, and like 10, 15 minutes in, I'm like, is this true? <laughs> like what? And then I was kind of looking into it and. Ugh, and then know. the things I that they have her character doing are it. controversial. Yeah, yeah, they are. And, if, and they're not even true. Oh, I felt so bad. People like, are going to think it's I true. I so terrible. Uh, especially for, if any of you have seen Marilyn Monroe movies, I know I'm going back. But um, if you've been with the channel for a while, you know I love old movies. I make you watch them all the time. Yeah, I've, Anything I've, from I've the found ones that I uh, 30s, just 40s, ended up landing 60s, for me much better it. than I expected. Yeah, some of you know? them like really have aged really well. I say, oh, you need to see this movie. Some it's of them really have good. aged really well, yeah. Yeah, you've been really like kind about it. <laughs> and saying like, hey, you should really watch this. But um, I just, I feel so terrible for her and that this is some people's like reintroduction to her and bringing Marilyn Monroe back up. Yeah, what a just, strange thing. I, I, I don't, I don't, I do not like, there's something very wrong to me about like I know. taking some really, um, really big hot button things and then having her character do that and then finally later like, oh, that didn't happen to Marilyn Monroe though. She didn't do that. I know. It's like, really? I mean, I people are going to think she did. It's almost like this weird, like whoever, like the director, whatever, like had this weird, like fantasy kind of thing. It's not overly sexually explicit. It's just like behavior, I suppose. Hmm. You know what I mean? Like making her look like unhinged and like detached and tortured and like all this kind of stuff. And it's like, oh man, like why do you, oh, you know? <laughs> but I don't know. I haven't had a chance to talk to you about it without yeah. spoiling, but I'll fill you in later because yeah, we I don't want to ruin it for you guys. But, here, but if yeah. you're on the fence on whether or not you want to watch it, don't her performance is great, I thought, but I don't know. It's not going to, you're icky. definitely, if you're going to learn anything about Marilyn Monroe, you're not going to. No, no, no. So that's, uh, that's the sad part. In fact, no. you, in fact, we in, accept that this is going to be important to her legacy in a negative way because it's going to be integrated in her legacy and in, just insert wrong things. Yeah. You know, it's, it's a shame. Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah. But you want to talk about games? Let's talk about games. We talk about games. Hey, you know, you know what the coolest thing is? What? Stray? The coolest thing. Stray is great. Stray is beautiful. Yes. I love Stray. Stray is great. Okay. But you were not going to talk about Stray, were you? I wasn't going to talk about Stray. What are you going to talk about? I'm going to talk about Steam Deck. <gasps> I got Steam Deck. I got his Steam new, Deck. His new baby. Oh my God. It's so good. Oh my God. Like, I, I, I heard it, kind it was of good. Is, it's fantastic. I heard it was good, mm -hmm. but it's, it's really good. I yeah. mean, the fact that, because I have been playing around a little bit with like different ways of doing the cloud gaming thing, like so you can play yeah. something on a phone or, or a tablet or a laptop or stream it somewhere you don't have the uh, um, the console. I still believe that's ultimately where this is all going to end up. I don't mm. think we're going to have to run hardware locally much at all. Right. Uh, but uh, uh, we're not quite there yet, although we're much closer than I thought. I th some of these cloud gaming services really work pretty damn well. Yeah. But there's still nothing like having no input latency mm. and like just absolutely like 
feeling like you're in on it and everything is just, you don't have to worry about anything buffering at any point. Yeah. Controls are absolutely spot on. And you're getting that it's from so the handheld snappy and beautiful. playing yeah. PC games. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Like I'm not streaming this from my PC gaming computer. I'm playing it on this thing. It's yeah. got nowhere to go. Everything's happening right here. It doesn't get too hot in my, mm. in my experience. Oh. And it's actually performed really well i mean i have i'm not trying to do like crazy ray tracing stuff right, on it right, right. and i think it's a little under 1080p um oh. because of the size of the screen because it doesn't honestly you get to it's a, a point good where size screen yeah it's a good size screen and honestly if you make that 1080p a lot of the text gets too hard to read mm. so that's not a, a it, it that's that's hurtful if you're trying to dock it and playing on tv right and you're going to turn up everything at 1080p i'm sure i would notice it gets a little weaker yeah but just if that's not what it's there for i got a gaming pc right mm. but it's so freaking cool yeah. I mean, you got just steam on the damn thing. I know. It's awesome. I know. It's you awesome. can actually put Windows You've on it, too. You've been playing a little bit before bed and every, and all that stuff, so yeah. that's that's good. Yeah. Not so much anymore. You've been going to bed pretty late lately. Yeah, well, just it's kind of been the way things are lining up, because uh, last night was just, the, I, you know, I went and did the... What did we end up watching? We ended up watching Heathers. Heathers. That's what Heathers. did it. That's what yeah, did we were it. watching Heathers. Because I ended up staying and watching the end of that before I did We didn't the, finish it. We cut it off. Oh, we didn't even finish we're it. We're trying so hard to yes. go to bed. So I... I I, even cutting that off, but then I still had to, you know, do all the. Yeah. I, I usually I try to get the dishes done and stuff before that, yeah. so that I can just go right to sleep. And I didn't last night, so that's why I was still. Like yeah. Last night. Yeah. We're we're trying to really work hard on the, on the bedtime. Yes. You know. Yeah. <gasps> do you always got to get better sleep? Do you want to talk about your medication woes? Oh boy. I bet some of you can. Yeah, relate I to can, this. Yeah, Unless I can you think it's those. because it's, it's been fine. a big deal in our house for about the last two weeks we were talking about it yeah it's it it affects a lot of things to me so um my blood pressure is too high right now and trying to figure out exactly why because i mean yeah you can say like i'm drinking coffee I but <laughs> honestly i've actually cut way down yeah, on the coffee. yeah yeah I'll, okay i'll explain right so <laughs> blood pressure is too high right so like okay so I drink less coffee so i drink less coffee blood pressure stays high it's like okay so um then you got to here's a um a pill to bring down your blood pressure okay i'm taking that blood pressure blood pressure stays high then it's okay here's uh we're gonna up the dosage of that but okay great blood pressure stays high and then my um uh um my other doctor, where I get my ADHD medication from, uh, then said he couldn't prescribe me Vyvanse, which is what I take for ADHD until my blood pressure comes down. So I stopped taking the Vyvanse. Blood it, pressure stays high. It's been about two weeks yeah. with no Vyvanse. So then it's like, maybe it's salt, maybe it's sodium. I get blood work. My sodium is smack in the middle of normal levels. Blood pressure stays high. So it's... Is it just like your genetics and, and stuff like this? Because this makes my, um, me nervous. Yeah, my, my cholesterol levels, they were high, and that is genetic. Mm -hmm. um uh, i learned about Your the levels they were at well. yeah, yeah like it's in my bloodline so yeah. and they yeah I, I had to take a pill for that and it's fine so that's yeah, been yeah. no problem mm -hmm. um it's just the blood pressure is too high and i'm like it's like work out i'm working out i'm working out all the time yeah. and blood pressure staying high and i can't get back to the vivance i'm trying to like i gotta like earn the vivance by Vyvanse. lowering the bl blood pressure first and i i have been unable to do that so far yeah and um i have to i'm still working with my cardiologist so i guess it's not like a complete mystery like have you up. heard anything no nah, it's i i gotta wait i gotta like, you know get we, another appointment i think you do all of like we have all these conversations through like the doctor like portal yeah you know and you got to go on and they could see all your stuff but we're like I feel like we should call them. Yeah, I mean, I can always call. But truly, you're not like. No, if, if it was an emergency, totally I'd call. But it's not an emergency. You no, know? it's not. But it's really I don't not. like that your blood pressure is high. And you no, don't I don't like why. that either. But it's the, but I have called about that. Yeah. And I did talk to a doctor about that, even in the the recent levels, and they still said it's not. In a, I'm not in any emergency. They they said that straight away, and they're super sensitive about that. Yeah. You know, like they'd be like, true. if it goes over this, you got to go to the ER. And, and they're it's like, a really it's like good no, it's hospital. high, but it's, it's not. It's a really good doctor. Yeah. Yeah. yeah they said it's, it's high, but it's not, you're not in an emergency area. And like, they just I'm, say continue monitoring it with your cardiologist. Basically. I'm, I'm like on the brink of like, let's get another doctor. Let's get another opinion. I, let's I can, get another. Blah, I certainly blah, blah. can do that. Yeah. Just, just because it's been a couple of weeks. It's been a couple of visits and I'm not like really getting around. much. I, I think after a couple of visits, since I hadn't really had any improvement. Yeah. That's kind of like, okay. Mm -hmm. Now I'm, I, cause what I wanted to do is I haven't had an appointment since the blood work was done that showed that my sodium levels are normal. Yeah. Because that's what he was saying everything to this point. I'm like, I don't think I'm eating that much salt. Yeah. We, yeah. Like, no, we you're cook really all not, our own food. We're really, really careful do. about ingredients. Yeah. 
Uh-huh. And he's like, oh, it's got to be salt. You got to take salt off. I'm like, what, what salt? And I then know. I ended up getting my blood work. Like, salt's fine. I know. So I haven't had an appointment since then. Yeah. So I wanted to give him kind of like one last chance to react mm-hmm. to that. Yeah. And if it still doesn't really get me to a place where this is getting better, then I got to talk to somebody else. I mean, like, I could try and cook more low sodium, but like, I think I've done everything. Yeah. I, I, I don't think we're... We're like, we do not eat a particularly high salt diet. No. We certainly do not. And we got that confirmed in the blood work that my salt is not elevated. My sodium is not elevated. I just, I don't like it. And I know that you don't feel not great off of Ivance. Your first two or three days are kind of rough. You're a little like foggy. Oh yeah. At first it was, it was a bummer. Okay, but you've got, bummer. Like, I adjusted. You've but. got, yeah, like you always adjust really well and you know things like that but i feel i feel bad you it's know still, what it's i mean still easier i just with want Vyvanse, you to know? yeah yeah but it's works your for medication me. you know, yeah it's I've your tried, brain try five as a trend then I've, i tried some other stuff that the insurance covered more of because five ants is not freaking cheap no, it's uh not. and it just didn't really work for me and then yeah. uh went back to five ants again and well, yeah it works for yeah. me it works for me so yeah uh, and this year was supposed to be the year where i think they uh the when generic um, yeah, I hey, think that the uh, is, the patent expires so this year. On, did you see Mark Cuban has Yes, a, he would cover that then. Yeah, he would cover it. It's like he sells, I don't know what it is, but he sells drugs it's like super. It. I, I want to know more about it because I think it's an awesome, awesome idea. Yeah. And when, when I'm hearing him, yeah, when, when, I, when, I, when I've heard him in like interviews and stuff talk about stuff like this or just anything involving like what he does, yeah, yeah. Um, he seems very much like, look, I'm not trying to make crazy amounts of money right, anymore. Right, right. It's like, I, just, I only want to invest in something yeah, good. Right to, to live your life yeah. and get the medication that you need to live. Yeah, he's just like, this is just a cause. It's something that we need and it's something yeah. I think this person or this company has a solution for and I yeah. want to back it. So that's why he's backing it. Yeah, for and sure. And I think that's very cool because it's something we badly need. Yeah. It's a lot of really good competition in that place. I so they ha- so. so other people have to drop their prices. Well, I hope. You know? I mean, it's we're recording this on a Friday and it's about three o'clock. Yeah. And um, so maybe we could try and call before the end of business day because I don't want you to go the whole weekend again. I mean, if, if all your cardiologists, I went a very long to time do, without Vyvanse, you know. I know, but I don't like the high blood pressure. It's not no, so I don't much like about either. the Vyvanse; it's about the blood pressure yeah. that's making me nervous. Because that'll make me nervous to take the Vyvanse. I mean, yeah, there's a very I good know. reason he's not giving it to me right yeah, now yeah. because it's known to cause high cause high blood pressure. So we need to make sure that it's not high first, right? Um, and the whole idea is, I, I need to be. He needs to be working in tandem with my cardiologist. Yeah. And that doesn't seem to be happening. No. Because he reached out to my cardiologist and I do not, and he did like, not go back. And they're like, I didn't back. get the message. I yeah, did, he didn't end up like reaching back. back. He, they didn't connect. So that was a bummer. So now I'm trying to, I'm like, now I feel like a go between. He said this, he said this, he I said this. Like, can you guys just talk? I know. And then on, <laughs> on top of all of this running around, we have two boys in school now. <laughs> yeah. Which we thought, I have to leave and go pick up one in about five minutes. I'll go run upstairs and leave. Yeah. With the car with the new tire. I'm yes, excited right. to drive yes, it. Yes, the car's all set. Yeah. But um, I thought, or we thought that things were going to get a little bit easier with both of them in school. That is not true. Mm-hmm. These schools, mm-hmm. these schools, they at, like, it's today, like they had these to wear schools. red. Wear red for respect. Oh my God. Yeah. And then they need a room parent. I'm the room parent because nobody else volunteered. Yeah, I was like, the I'll room help parent if you need thing. help. I think this is going to be a and saga. Were, I, this is I what I did. this is the beginning of a saga. They sent home a sheet and they were like, hey, if you want to volunteer in the classroom, we'd love to have your name. You know, if you want to like hand out things at a party for their fall party or whatever. I was like, word, I'll do it. So I put my name in and they're like, oh, by the way, you're now the room parent for your kindergartner, which means that like no, I have to you... be the one to set up the party. I have to go to all the parents in the class and ask them for money to buy presents for the teacher for the holidays, I know, to set up the winter party to set up tables at fall fest with games and stuff i was like hey i don't know if i have the time for this kind of responsibility it's because i'm running it's, it's a, a ton lot. yeah i know so there's like zoom meetings and this is how we're going to coordinate and everybody's got to know their rights as a parent and, blah, blah. and i'm trying really hard to participate and so are you but it's like i there's only so many hours in a day man this I is thought be it was. Hard. Uh, I thought it was funny how it is going to be hard. But it is. I'm going to um, try. I'm going to try. Uh, yeah. But, oh, no. I mean, that's the thing. I, wanna, I think it's cool. I want to be transparent with the teachers and be like, "Hey, I've never done this before. Like, if you could provide some guidance, that would be wonderful." Yeah. You've got. I, I don't know if I misunderstood what right this now. is yeah. going to be, but yeah. you know, there's going to be a lot of like crossing over and stuff. So I have to find a way to find my footing there, or maybe find a mentor. 
but I you know. find a mentor. I yeah, but there's, there's, there's people that have done it. We bought the shirts. Yes. We bought the socks with the, the school logo on it. They're selling mums for the PTA. I bought the mums. <laughs> there's going to be like cookie sale, pretzel sale, buy a shirt, wear an Eagle shirt because the Eagles won. I yeah. need a Philly shirt because the Phillies won. And it's just like, oh my God, leave me alone. Like, can I live? Sending messages on the phone all the time. Hey, does anybody want to have a car or a husband that they could loan to move some tables? I'm like, help, help me, help me. I um, uh, I I I think it's kind of funny how you found out though, because like you were uh, you would we were just in like PTA meetings and stuff like that, yeah. and we had met with teacher, and you're like, oh. I see there's a I see there's a space here for like a room parent assistant. Yeah, yeah. So let me see what the room parent assistant thing is. Maybe I can go help out. That'd be yeah, cool. Maybe yeah. I can do a little more I and help. I was gonna like go so, and so she like stuff out. gets in touch and it's like, yeah, what about this room parent assistant? Maybe I can get in there. She's like, Oh, I have you done as the room parent. Yeah. I have like employee like, level responsibilities. What? Like now. so like yeah, you're you're doing everything. So that's how you found out. You, they didn't even tell you. You went to ask if you could do a pay little more, and they said, Give "Oh no, you're money. going to do everything." Pay me money. Pay I know it's not going to. Give me money. There's not going to be any pay for this. Money. Yeah, you have employee level responsibility without the employee level. Um, it's bananas. Compensation. I'll keep you posted <laughs> because I'm kind of like oh, I don't know about this, but that I, seems intimidating. It is, but you know what? But it's also the it's kind of thing okay. I think you'd be good at. It's okay. I, I, be I bet I'd it. be good at it in a couple years, but still, I'm kind of like, like yeah, it's that'd be, it'd be Jesus a lot of crust. But you did, it, but saying that you you do feel like giving it a shot anyway. I'll it's try. like it's um. I think you'd be good at it. I think it's something you'd be good at. We'll see. I think we'll it's see. something you'd have fun with too. It's you know just what else? sounds very time consuming. You know what else we need to be good at? Wait. Ending this possible podcast slash video because we have to pick up our three year old. By the way. Yes, we do. We have to be good at having a three year old. I know. Who's getting bossy? Is balls. He's getting super bossy. Very funny. Very yeah, funny. He is little funny. Dude. He is very funny. funny little dude. Very friendly. Yes. Says hello to everybody. Yes. Everyone. Yes. Very um, social. V- really, really social. Really like um, you know gregarious. It's like my fifty cent word there. <laughs> <laughs> but still, um, yeah. So I'm gonna have to pick him up. See what's going on. Hopefully they don't need me for anything. Because <laughs> oh my god. The stress, the stress of it all. And then the loveliness of a YouTube channel, the yeah. loveliness of a Twitch uh, stream yes. injected into my veins. Yes, that is our balance. Give me life. The counterbalance. And then, um, you know, we'll play some more Stray. That will be up. We have more trailer reactions and stuff like that, I'm sure. Going up. Lots of video games. Lots of things to do. Lots of moves to watch. Lots of things to talk about. Lots of lives to live. Like the sounds of the hourglass. <laughs> So are the days of our lives. Can that be our outro? Please. That'd be great. <laughs> I think we get sued for that one. All right. I really have to leave. Our cuckoo clock is going Okay. Off. Cuckoo clock just went off, so we got to right. go. All right. Well, we love you very much. Thanks for hanging out with us. We're going to do some other videos about other stuff later. Yes. But in the meantime, don't forget to watch us on Twitch. Photosynthesis. Whoa! And if you like this video, yeah. please support us on Patreon. Click like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks. Bye. Bye.